Here we'll do a problem that focuses on ionization energy and the photoelectric effect. An atom of calcium in its ground state is subjected to light with enough energy to eject an electron. An electron from which subshell of calcium would have the lowest kinetic energy after ejection? In order to answer this question, we need to think about exactly what's happening here. Okay? An electron is being ejected from a calcium atom. Boom. Now, the energy required to remove an electron from an atom is known as the ionization energy. The important thing to remember about ionization energy is that ionization energy increases as you get closer to the nucleus. And this makes sense. The more powerful the positive pull of the nucleus, the more energy you need to remove electrons that are close to the nucleus. But this question is a little bit more complicated and we have to add some information to really answer it. We're not just being asked about ionization energy and distance from the nucleus. The question is framed as part of the photoelectric effect. In the photoelectric effect, a photon of light hits an atom and ejects an electron from that atom. When this happens, any remaining or leftover energy after the electron is ejected, that energy is transferred or transformed into kinetic energy for that electron. So the more energy it takes to eject an electron, the less energy is left over as kinetic energy. That's the key relationship here. That's what we're going to use to answer this question. Let me say this one more time because it's the key. The more energy is needed to eject an electron in the photoelectric effect, the less energy is left over as kinetic energy. So we can use all this information to answer the question step by step. Here's our thought process. We're asked which subshell would result in an electron with the lowest kinetic energy. So here are the steps. If the kinetic energy of the electron is low, that means that there wasn't much energy left over after the electron was ejected. That means that more energy was needed to eject the electron in the first place, which means the electron had a high ionization energy, which means that the electron was close to the nucleus. So, we're looking for the subshell here that's closest to the nucleus, and that's 2s, which is much closer than the others. And in fact, calcium in its ground state doesn't even have electrons in the 5p subshell. So that's our answer, A. Now, this wasn't a super difficult question, but the way it was worded required some thought. You kind of had to work backwards and think through each step to come to this conclusion. 